Second game between the two players, Eddie and Tim. Mongols where it is, and let's start with Eddie here. Eddie in red, having uh, finding the four sheep right now. That's all right, having the main stone. A little bit forward, but okay-ish. Second stone forward, outside, one deer inside, two deer outside. It's going to be able to lure them in. Probably it's going to open up a piece of wall too. Maybe lure them towards the mill even, even uh, and uh, having a short luring distance. Main gold, relatively safe. Could see a TC come up here later on. Uh, not necessarily, but it's possible. Second gold also safe in the back, two boars in the back, third gold safe in the back, that's actually a pretty nice map for Eddie except for the stone maybe, but he should be able to, to secure the stone and get a castle up if he wants to. So the map for Eddie looking pretty nice, also relic wise it's pretty good. And this one in between the two players, this one a little bit closer to Eddie, there's one closer to his base, this one on the right hand side pretty far away. Uh, an extra stone here on the map, an extra gold here on the map, and the extra barriers which don't really matter. And the last relic is inside Tim's base. Let's go for his base right now and start with the extra gold as he has inside his base. Second and third gold is very safe in the back. <laughs> Both players have awesome maps somehow. And the main gold, okay-ish. Main stone kind of forward, similar to, to Eddie's base. Where's the second stone? Oh, that's good for Tim. Uh, Stone-wise a little bit better. And... Uh, that's probably the telephone starting. Yeah, it was a little bit of a pause, something that we don't experience, which is good for us. Uh, Boar coming in. Good lure in the end. was a little bit worried that this would be outside, but uh, perfect timing here. And uh, we're going to go a little bit faster because not much is going to happen. But the players are going to scout around and take the deer. Actually, there's three deer for Tim. He is. Is he going to lure them? He's sending a sheep again. It's, uh, it's hard to get them through the gate without having a, a sheep here. Now it's not a problem. And uh, those deer are going to be lured towards the TC. Eddie, as expected, uh, deleting two pieces of wall. Luring those deer probably towards the mill. And, oh, don't take it. Yeah, too late. Uh, a little bit far away, but it's all right. And Eddie's going to uh, take those deer as well. Uh, he's going to be ahead of... Uh, a little bit of better scouting, I guess, then, because he's got a very short luring distance, while Tim has to lure those deer from a pretty far distance. And actually, this one ran back. Not good for him. Um, should stay in the, in the arena behind the walls. Sometimes they go around if the gate is open, but no, he's fine. Mm, gold mining coming up now. Double lumber camp. Nine villages on wood. It's a little bit much, I think. Let's see for Eddie. Does he have his, uh, eight? Eight villages and only one lumber camp. Interesting to see. Tim going up first, Feudal Age, Eddie, one more villager then, yep, and that's roughly 25 seconds, that's actually 21, so Eddie technically a little bit better, that's alright, not sure about this mining camp, but Eddie going for stone here, three villagers, and he is not on, yeah, he's on go. sorry, my fault, so looks like he wants to get a castle up, maybe go really aggressive, we might see barracks come up for Eddie as well. Only walling with palisade walls here. That's interesting to see. Looks like Eddie is going to go aggressive, so doesn't really uh, really mind. Blackstone's coming up behind this, so that's all right in the market. Mm, I'm wondering what Eddie is planning here with the uh, risk. He, he risk. Oh my God, he's going to put the castle. And uh, let's go for the scouting. Eddie can see the relics pretty much, almost all of them. Tim can see the relics. He can see Eddie's base scouting it again to have a little bit more insight. He can see the stone. He can see the mining camp on the stone. So Tim actually knows what's happening. And uh, let's see how he's going to react on this. Tim, of course, a little bit earlier up. Uh, now it's 23 seconds, so that's uh, pretty much the same timing except for one villager difference. And uh, let's see what Tim is going to do. It doesn't have much wood because barracks and archer range coming up as well as market and blacksmith double archery range uh, both players are gonna go for uh, some sort of castle age aggression or maybe for map control at least and the monastery so no tcs for tim right now a lot of villages in gold uh, to sustain crossbow production i guess and i'm gonna go a little bit slower right now eddie is sending villages and tim is reacting to that castle that potential castle drop and two crossbowmen are gonna be enough tim has uh, eddie has to go back not sure what he wanted to build here Maybe it was a castle, maybe a siege workshop, something like that. But right now he's delaying the castle, later in stone, and siege workshop coming up for him. I think he wants to go aggressive here. And uh, while those crossbowmen are out on the field, uh, Eddie cannot go out. So we're going to see Manganel for him immediately, I think. There we go. And also two monks, which are going to help him big time. No more TCs for any player at this point. Tim might be the first one to go for an extra TC, but uh, not enough villagers on wood. So we're going to 
see a big fight here with villagers, with crossbowmen. Uh, two crossbows actually converted, and that's huge for Eddie. Tim is losing too many units here, all the manganel are out. And uh, Eddie has a monk here, so he can heal. Now Tim got a monk, and uh, ooh, no, Scout is going down. Tim able to save his monk, now he's got more crossbowmen out. Eddie only the monk that cannot convert in the manganel. Can be out microed actually at this point in the game. Scorpion is a very very nice idea here. That's a strong uh, play from Eddie, I think. Trying to get for uh, go for a monk and losing villagers now, I guess. Uh, four crossbowmen still out. Now it's three, uh, might be two very soon. Uh, Tim is sending more. He's getting a siege workshop of his own at this point. Eddie didn't have loom. Uh, that's a problem for him. And uh, again, he's sending out villagers, trying to win the uh, the map here with the scorpion and the manganel, and he should be able to do it because the scorpion is doing a lot of damage. Now the castle being put up by Eddie. Crossbow is going there immediately, trying to go for the villagers, maybe. Okay, now they got loom. Uh, nice shot here and those crossbows the last one will go down too now Eddie got the advantage oh Manganel coming in Eddie needs to defend and he's able to one for nothing good job for Eddie he's gonna get this castle up probably um, one crossbow might be converted the other one is dying immediately and let's see what is Tim going to do no TC's up he should probably wall behind this uh, which won't help for too long only one TC very low resources looks like Eddie is doing a good job here Manganel not decided yet, but Tim losing another one. That's now 2 nothing for Eddie. Very, very strong play. Eddie doing fletching. The castle is up. And what is Eddie going to do? Sending more manganels. Probably going to go a few mangadai. And uh, fletching coming in as well. So Eddie is the one who's going aggressive. Tim didn't re -wall this, so Eddie can just go in. And uh, yeah, one being converted, then two, uh, both crossbows dying from manganel shot. This one going down as well. Tim is in a pretty tough spot right now. While Eddie um, happily uh, doing his eco, pretty small one, but it's gonna be enough. And going aggressive here, let's see what Tim is actually planning. Not doing any more crossbows, do we see? No manganel either. He's going towards the back, taking gold here. Does he see the gold? Yeah, you can see all golds on the side of space, good scouting. And even using villagers to take down this manganel. Problem is there is the fast manganel coming in, and that's one villager going down, second one going down, and... <laughs> Perfect manganel shot. Four villagers dead for nothing. Mm, Tim now putting up a TC on the wood line and a second gold there in the back. Also trying to save one relic here. I don't think Eddie is even gonna bother and take the relics. What a strong forward for Eddie. That's so hard to defend here. And I thought Tim had had the game, but maybe he should have gone for a siege workshop earlier. Eddie just has so much experience in fighting for the for the map control. This manganel almost doomed, uh, but uh, got enough pierce armor to not die. Those uh, manganel though were pretty Pretty weak against TC fire, so Eddie has to go back. He might start and attack this TC, but Tim's eco is pretty much uh, shredded, and this TC is doomed as well. Now doing more crossbow men, but against the Mangadai, crossbow men are really not that strong unless they can fight from distance. And this TC is uh, going down pretty fast. Look at this, only half HP left. And it's uh, gonna be uh, lower and lower. And the Manganai being micro by Eddie, of course, he's uh, got the time to do that. He only has one TC. Uh, losing a Manganai here because four crossbow and five crossbow are a good number. But Eddie is sending the Manganels and getting a second castle up, uh, covering this main gold and main stone. He's really cutting Tim off. Tim is lucky to have so many resources in the back, but he's resigning. He knows this is over, he knows he screwed up in early. Castle Age losing this fight actually was the game decider. Very fast game, but what a strong performance from Eddie here! Really, really, really uh, awesome what he did here. Uh, huge respect for Eddie, uh, how he is doing this, how he can read the map, how he knows what uh, how to react to your opponent's uh, like attack or at uh, attempt to take map control. And then in the end, this is so hard to defend. I'm not sure what Tim can or could do here. Maybe go for, for Stone early, that would have been an option. But other than that, really, really big trouble for Tim. Eddie, very strong. I hope you enjoyed this game. Short one, but a very good one. And see ya in the next games.